Hey guys, Patrick Smith from Vision Miner, and today I want to address a question that we get asked quite often, and that is why we chose Intimsys to be our flagship product over hundreds of other manufacturers. That's what we're going to get in today. First, let me tell you a little bit about the history of Vision Miner. We've been using 3D printers for a few years now. We were using them in our drone industry and to make gimbal parts. We could rapid prototype them out of the plastics and then send it off to CNC when it was ready and perfect. But then we started to move into the new filaments like the carbon fibers and the Peak and Ultim. We wanted to use functional materials that we could then use for the gimbals and not have to CNC it out of aluminum, which saves us thousands and thousands of dollars. So the search began for an industrial type of printer that would fit to our standards. We started online. We were looking at hundreds of different machines and watching videos and checking out all the information that we could. Once we found our favorites, I mean, I've been to Beijing, I've been to Shenzhen, and it was in January of this year at CES, the last day of the show, I'm walking out and I came across this machine right here. The first thing I noticed is that it's metal, it's big, it looks industrial, it looks strong. I had to see more. So I started talking to the guys and the first thing I noticed right off the bat was the build quality of the machine. I mean, seriously guys, when you look at this, the carriage assembly on the X and Y and you look at the Z axis, the nice ball screws, the machined aluminum parts that just brings it all in, makes it fit tight. And then my favorite is this bed a lot of beds on the market the structure isn't built rigid enough so as you're printing your vibe your bed will sometimes bounce and vibrate and it's not good for the print it, it affects the quality i mean hands down it affects the quality and i didn't want that i want something that was going to be precise and smooth and that's what i found here so look in here we're going to show you some more video of all these different parts and you'll see how strong and well engineered and just built tough it is the other thing that really drew my attention is we need an enclosed chamber. Yeah, printing an ABS, that's where you kind of started needing it, the curling and stuff. But when you get in the peak in Ultim, you hands down have got to have a consistent chamber temperature or your prints are gonna fail over and over again. What Intensmith did is, well, let me tell you this. I bought the machine that day at CES. I took it home, we started using it. What we found is that the chamber temp wasn't consistent. So they immediately, with that feedback, redesigned it and added another heater core to it because before it'd be like 90 degrees on one side and about 83 on the other, and the print would look different from one side to another. I love how Intimus took that feedback, they took that constructive criticism, and they took action on it and almost immediately implemented those changes. That's what we want from a company. We want the ones who take user feedback seriously because in the end result, it's gonna help us all. So guys, consistent chamber temp, dual heater cores, 90 degrees Celsius. You'll see the insulation. This helps a lot of it, but everything seals up nice and tight so that the heat isn't escaping. That's gonna become imperative when you start printing in peak. The other thing you need is you're gonna need a hot temperature coming out of the nozzle. This is a 450 degree nozzle, 450 degrees Celsius nozzle. So the carbon fiber filaments, ultimate peak, now it's a breeze to get through the machine. The other thing you're gonna need to print in those kind of functional materials is a nice hot heat bed. This goes 160 degrees, guys. 160 degree print bed is gonna allow that material like peak to really adhere to the bed nice and tight on that first layer to prevent the warping and curling later on. Again, later on with that chamber, chamber temp, it doesn't warp and curl. So you got the high temp nozzle, you got the 160 degree print bed, and then you have a consistent chamber temp. Those are the three things you need guys. And that's what the Insys delivers to you. Second thing, one of the other things I really like is your filament chamber is its own separate chamber. You guys know if you're messing with peak and you leave it sitting out, it attracts moisture almost overnight. And you'll notice it because it starts bubbling and getting foamy when it comes out the nozzle. When you have your own chamber right here to put the filament, I like to put the silica in there, absorbs moisture. Then we can seal that. And now we don't have to worry about it while we're using this roll, especially if you're keeping your machine going like 24 hours a day. 
Something I'll mention about this filament is the filament alarm. Have you guys ever been printing? Maybe you forgot to load more filament or you started with a roll that didn't have enough and halfway through your printer or whenever it fails. That is discouraging. You're wasting time, you're wasting energy, you're wasting money. So this has a nice filament alarm built into it. It goes, it'll trigger it, and it'll pop up on the screen and tell you, add filament. You simply add it, boom, the print continues. The touch screen is another feature I like. If you guys are working with Peak, you're using hot gloves because you're constantly reaching in and stuff like that. You will burn your hands. So use hot gloves. Other machines, I would have to be taking these on, taking them off to mess with the touch screen. But now they made it to where the touch screen is functional and I can do all my settings with the gloves on. So that's really cool. You'll, it'll come to the key the first time you burn yourself. You forget to put the glove on because you're messing with the screen. You go in to grab a print. That's when you'll learn and love the touch screen with the glove compatibility. So that's a really cool feature. Another feature I mentioned failed prints. You guys ever been printing and have the power go out in your building? That's when I learned about backup power supply units. So originally when I tried a power supply unit with the high temperatures, it would pull too much amperage and it would blow my, it would blow the fuse on my backup power supply unit. Intimus integrated their own backup power supply unit that handles all the amperages that this thing can throw at it. So you can literally unplug this from the wall. It's going to hone the axes and then it'll shut down. You plug it back in or power restores, burp, it goes back to where it left off and finishes the print. That will become invaluable, especially when you're working with some expensive filaments like Peak. You can't be wasting that stuff left and right. You need a machine that's gonna be consistent and deliver the prints on a consistent basis. So all these features, guys, combined with the support of working with Intimsys, them listening to the feedback, them making the changes, that's what took us from being a customer to their number one distributor. Because guys, I gotta tell you, I can't sell or recommend something unless I can recommend it and use it myself. And so that's what we had to do. Since January, we've been vetting the heck out of these machines and we've been working with them one-on-one. -on -one. This is the final result, guys. This is the machines that you guys are gonna be receiving in your home. And we haven't even touched on the craziest, best part yet. That's the price point, $5,000. 5,000 bucks. I mean, you look at Ultimakers and stuff are getting up to that price and they're made of plastic. You're gonna get an industrial machine that can print usable functional materials like Peak Ultima and the carbon fibers. You can start your businesses today, start selling the products right away. It's gonna take you from opening the box to your first successful print and to making money right away. Don't wait guys, these things are flying off the shelf. I don't expect the price to go up, I hope it doesn't, but this is a bang for the buck. Start your businesses today, ask us, call us if you have any questions, that's what we're here for. We know we're gonna hit snags and bumps along the way. Vision Miner's not only here to support you with the machines, but to support you as you grow your business too. I hope you guys like this machine as much as I do. I guarantee if you get it inside your homes and your businesses, you will. So check it out. Hit that subscribe button. I'll do more videos and introductions. Rob's gonna be doing some uh, how-tos and instruction videos and like that. We're gonna make sure you have all the tools you need to be successful. We definitely appreciate your business and support. Keep in touch, and next time, we'll give you something else and something new. Thanks for watching, guys.